What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Urban Platform Speaks. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe as you come into the channel and check out the content. And with that being said, man, I want I want to speak on talk about why I think that uh, basketball fans are really upset about Bronny James and and him, uh, you know, getting this getting this opportunity to play for the Lakers, right? And I, I think I think the reason is like people are just so knowledgeable, especially like even the average fan, just so knowledgeable about basketball and, and especially professional basketball and, and what they are watching as far as like talent and what it takes to play at this level. You know, when when you look at when you look at the guards in this league, like for instance, like Bronny James is about He's six. They say he's six one, and so I'm gonna go with that. Um, so he, he's six one, right? Um, he's not really. He, he's he, he's probably strong, but he's not really a, as athletic as they say he is. He's not really as um, you know. He's not a great ball handler. He seems to be like an average shooter. And so when you compare Bronny James to like some of the other guards in the league. Like, for instance, like, compare Bronny James to uh, Dame Lillard, right? And um, and so, and I know it's, I don't know if it's even unfair to compare him to, to these guys who I'm getting ready to mention, because if you want to be a professional basketball player, these are the guys who you're going to be up against. So, com- all right, compare uh, Bronny James to Dame Lillard, right? Dame Lillard is, is uh, I'm not sure how tall he is. He's probably about Bronny James. He probably, he probably. He may be a little bit short. He might be like exactly six feet tall. But anyway, <clears throat> Dame Lillard is an exceptional shooter. Um, Dame Lillard is, uh, you know, he, he's he's a, a better ball handler. Um, you know, like his shooting is is off the chart, right? And so that's somebody that you know, like you would have to go against. Uh, um, you know, as far as like if if you're another guard in the league. Um, DeAndre Fox, right? DeAndre Fox, he played for Sacramento. Um, this dude is exceptionally fast. He's an excellent shooter, and he's uh, on in defense. He like he as far as being a he's a very good defensive uh, guard. Um, Lamelo Ball, right? Lamelo Ball, he's exceptional too. Lamelo is a very good point guard. Um. I think and, and Lamelo Ball is taller. I think Lamelo Ball is probably like about six six or something like that, and uh, you know, long and athletic, um, very good point guard, you know. Um, and so that's again, that's somebody that he would have to be going up against. Um, Luka Doncic. What I mean, man, can you imagine like what would Bronny, what he would have to be, you know, what he could do with like Luka Doncic? I think Luka Doncic is like six nine, six ten. Um, I don't know, maybe like 240, 250 pounds, something like that. That's just crazy. And like I said, uh, Luca is an exceptional uh, passer, um, excellent, you know, shooter and, and can score just all over the court. You know, um, and so when people see guys like this and then you look at Bronny James and his skill set, it's, it's just like no comparison. Um, then you got Steph Curry, you know, everybody know what Steph Curry can do. He shoot, ball handle, um, you know, and pretty good passer. Um, Trey Young. Trey Young is just a score, flat out, got a bag. He can shoot the three-pointer. Um, Trey Young is exceptionally, um, you know, he's quick, um, pretty, a very good ball handler. Um, and, and Trey Young is not a big dude either, but, you know, these are the kind of like this is the kind of talent I'm pointing out. The kind of talent that you need to have. You got to be exceptional at something, especially at that guard position. The guard position is the most, in my opinion, the most competitive position in professional basketball. Because you, like I said, you got to be exceptional at something if you want to. Um, you want to make it as a guard at the NBA level. Um, ja Morant, you know. Very athletic, um, pretty good, uh, uh, you know, uh, three-point shooter. 
and you know, every year he's getting better with his three point shooting. Um, ball handling is pretty good. Um, defense on defense, John ja Morant is very good. Um, let me see, Fred Van Vliet, right? This guy is, I like Fred Van Vliet. Uh, Vliet again, another really, really good, a really good shooter from the mid range and three pointer. Um, a thick tough guy um you know i think he's a little bit better on defense than people probably give him credit for um who else i got on here oh jalen brunson man you see what jalen brunson can do it's exceptional at scoring the ball you know and so you know you jamal murray another guy who can really score um let me see drew holiday tough on defense and he you know he can score inside you know um, Tyrese Halliburton. I think Tyrese Halliburton is about 6'5. He can score. Um, wow. Then you got Darius Garland. Darius Garland just got a bag. He can score an exceptional score. Uh, Russell Westbrook, everybody know about his speed, his ath athleticism. Uh, Shea Gilgris Alexander. Man, when you went, uh, let me see, Kate Cunningham. Cunningham, man, I like Kate Cunningham, right? K Cunningham is like a probably like about, about six, 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 seven. Um, then you got Kyrie Urban, CJ McCollum, James Harden, Chris Paul. And so my point is, and naming all these guys, is that when you, you know, to be a god, you just gotta be exceptional. All of these guys who are named, they are exceptional at at least one thing. Some of them, two things. Then you got dudes like Marcus Smart. You know, he can shoot and he's a tough defender and he's strong as I don't know what, you know, like these guys are all exceptional athletes and, and, and the, the best God who I, who I really didn't name at all is, is his father, LeBron James. You got LeBron James who's like six, nine, 260 pounds, they say. And, and he moves like a God. And I mean, you know, at six, nine, 200 and something pounds, he moves just like a God. So you got to be exceptional, man, to, to go up against these guys at the, uh, at the NBA level. And so that's why when fans see like somebody who, who, uh, who they know don't have, you know, it's, it's just so obvious that these, you know, you can look at LeBron, Bronny James and see that, you know, like he wouldn't stand a chance against these guys, man. I mean, it would just be complete dominance. Not right now. I don't think he's ready for these guys. And so when fans see that, you know, like it's really an insult to the fans to tell them that this kid is right now, today, ready to go up against these guys that I just named. And as an NBA ball player, you know, if you want to be on the court, these are the guys that you're going to have to go up against. You know, and a lot of guys I didn't even mention, like Devin Booker. I didn't even mention Devin Booker. You know, um, or I might have, but um, you know, like it's it's just so it's it's just tough. It's just tough, and, and fans, you know, fans are just not buying the, uh, you know, the fact that Bronny James is ready for these guys, the guys who I just mentioned. Um, yeah, and those are the starters. You know what I mean? Most of these guys are starters that I just named, but um, that's my take on it. Make sure that you like and subscribe. Don't forget. Don't forget to leave a comment. And with that being said, I'll check you all out on the next video. Peace.